Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Hello. Salutation. Not much of a crochet day today. But there's much to talk about. Come join me. Hey, hey, so today I woke up with an absolutely agonizing stiff neck. Uh, I think I pulled something picking up my now giant seven-year-old daughter the other night because she was sleeping at the foot of my bed. Sorry, yawn snuck up on me. I didn't think you wanted to join me with that. Anyways. My daughter was at the foot of my bed, I picked her up, carried her to her bed, and I think I tore something up in here. And now it's gone all the way into here, so my arm is really stiff. Hard to move. My lower back on the same side is really not doing well. It took me all day to figure that out. Meaning where, what I did. Oh my goodness. So... Today I finished my bathroom, diamond art, took my black acrylic paint, painted a, a bit of a frame around it, over top of all the writing, and then put it in a proper frame and it's already hung up in the wall in the bathroom. I wanted it in done, 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 done. So that's another project off the boards for me. Super happy with it. Um, I may have to adjust the picture inside of it a little but other than that it's it's gorgeous it's exactly what i wanted beautiful oh here let me move my beautiful light to where i like to it. yep my hobie back light again i can't stress it enough if you've never gotten one or needed something that's an important tool that would be one i would definitely recommend a neck lamp night headlamp something Okay, so I got these done very early in the morning. We are outlined on both sides. One. And we have this one. So now I'm ready to sew them up together. Never got around to it today. Just kind of giving my crochet a little break, being that. Oh. My arm's just not, not there for me. What I'm thinking about doing, as I have about enough, maybe, for a row to go around, but I'm probably going to do the, the longer ones at the bottom, where people have done rows that go around. One of the things I got done today as well, my second year old finished her first diet in art with me. She was not having a day to go to school. So she got this one done. She has not been feeling too great, too tired for school, that kind of thing. So we ended up just letting her stay home. And as usual, we regretted it because she's crazy. She's very high energy. And I just couldn't keep up today. I'm just so much pain. The acetaminophens and stuff like that I have not touched it. So, I wanted to talk about one of the projects I've been meaning to mention. And this. Okay, breathe through it. Alright, okay. Is a scrap yarn shrug I made for my mom last year. And I guess I sized it wrong for her because it just touched too tight. 
So I need to take off this trim right here. And I need to add to the length of it. Okay, well that wasn't too bad finding that end. I guess I didn't tap that well enough. And go and oh, I hate not feeling a hundred percent. Gonna put this up here, take some pressure off of leaning. So I did knot the end of it in hopes that it wouldn't come out. And I almost got it pulled through here. I'm going to grab my scissors I have up here. <sighs> a little bit can go into my scrap container. So up here I keep a little container of scraps. I've cut off because you can always put them inside amigurumis and I do not like to waste it. I don't give it out to birds because I've heard mixed reviews on it being good and bad for birds so and I live right next to a bird sanctuary so I try my best to make sure that I'm not causing them any issues. What a shame. I did such a nice job stitching it together too. Oh well. It's the wrong size. It's the wrong size. She'd really like to wear it. They are her colors. This was a super fun project to do. It is just a continuous granny square. You just go round and around and around and around and around. <sighs> until you get the size you're wanting. She made one for me as well. Hobie carnivals, mostly blues, purples. And some other random yarns that we had around the house. I'm trying to remember what size. I keep seeing the blue one, so I think it was probably a four. Because I don't remember what size of um, crochet hook I used. And I did this last year. A lot has happened in a year. Okay, what's going on here? Got this here, got this end here. Alright. Okay, we're going to come around here. Looks like I ran out there. And I just ended up putting... Okay, um, sure. Looks like I had run out in this nice beginning I just had going here. Was a continuation of a new yarn. Ow, how's my other shoulder that just popped? Goodness, it's it's really hard when the body really just is not cooperating. But at least I'm done with the gifts for now, so if I just need to take things a little easy then I can. Not helpful for like cleaning, but I um, figured out. I've cleaned up my other arm before. It just feels weird because it feels like I should just have it up high in the sling kind of thing just to take the pressure off of it hanging. It'll probably be less tomorrow. I've been working on stretching it, giving it small massages, and possibly if it continues being this uncomfortable, I'm going to switch on and off with heat and ice. 
not my first rodeo, so I've been through this before. Took my hair down, left it down because sometimes it pulls tight, even if I have it up loose. Other times the back of my neck just really acts up. At least I was able to have a bit of a sleep because that helps. I am one of those fun people that if I'm sick or in a lot of pain, I tend to go to sleep. So my mom always said that was like her kind of scary for the first little bit, especially when I was like teething for the first time. I slept for like three days straight and barely ate anything. She was starting to panic. And then I woke up and was totally fine. Super happy and cute with a brand new tooth. <laughs> and she was just really taken aback. She was like, oh, hi. <laughs> oh, okay. And that's just kind of how I am. I think I'm just a little run down on energy and all that kind of stuff. Like right now I'm feeling really hot. I keep getting these terrible hot flashes and they're not... They're not the type, like my mom was explaining, menopause hot flashes, and they don't feel the same. They start up in my head, not from the middle. She said they should start from, like, your stomach. I don't know if it's different for other people. Maybe it is. I'll look into it if I remember. I probably won't, though. friend of ours had bought me a strategy game recently. Where I basically take my mouse and I point and click and I start my own civilization. It's not civilization, that's a totally different game. Which I already have owned for a long time because I absolutely love it. Okay, first side. Is done. Okay. So this game I'm going to probably... Lay on my side on the end of my bed and try that out for a little bit, see how I like it. It's probably just something I'll play on occasion. Oh, there's my scissors over there. But it is definitely something I'm interested in. I love history and I just want to do something quiet. And that's not going to be hard on my arm. I know I want to crochet really bad as usual. But I feel like maybe this would not work out for me very well. So I'm just trying to pull out my stitches while we chat. Because of course I hate just sitting doing nothing. It is such a thing with me. I like to feel like I'm being productive. I do not do well with like super downtime. I gotta be reading, I gotta be playing a game, I gotta be doing something, talking with somebody, I gotta just sitting. It's just not fun. Okay, we're doing well. I think this is one of the tales. And the main part I need got split, which has happened before where your part of the yarn is here, part of it's there. This is, this is my splitty yarn. I'm not sure what kind of yarn it is, it's just a random ball, and I use it occasionally. I need this color because I'm trying to use it up, and it is a trial and a half to use this. Maybe it was a five. Maybe I think I'm thinking I used a four to do my single crochet here, but I think for the actual body of it, I think I was doing a five, maybe a four. I keep saying four because I remember the blue one. Because the blue one has a certain flair to it that is different than the rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my size four millimeter crochet hook, like I just said, has. It has a vibe to it that is totally different than the last. And I definitely 
remember when I use that one, it just feels totally different. Even my uh, four in the ones I got from Hobie's doesn't feel the same at all. It's just this specific one here just has a weird way that it's weighted. I think that it was slightly off when they put the rubber end on it. And I think that I noticed that when I'm holding it. Um, that's fine. I'm okay with it. I, I find it kind of fun. It's like, it kind of reminds me of waving a wand around. Which, yeah. Okay. I, as a, yeah, I sound a little nuts today. More so than normal. But it, that is what it feels like. It feels like you're waving a wand, you're making magic. And it's kind of fun. Find your fun where you can. Okay. Now this feels like I'm making a big tangly mess. Not. I'm doing my work. Okay. There. I found the actual end. The other one was not the end. The other one was the beginning. If you understand what I mean. Meaning I had tucked it. Um, now I'm getting these two pieces here. Oh, goodness. I have to refill my water jug here in a few minutes. Let me just... Try my best to see if I can get myself to feel any better. I was thinking about maybe watching my show, but I may just decide to go back to sleep. And try to sleep this off as much as I possibly can while the kids are sleeping. I think everybody's gone to bed fairly early. I will say I am super pleased that I got that kitty diamond art done. It is exactly what I had in mind. It looks great in that bathroom. Really elevates it to a less impersonal bathroom. I guess the best way to put it. It has more personality now. So, that's exciting. And it didn't take me as long as some of my other ones. I have a couple still to do. And it's just when I can. It's a real ordeal to try to put the dishes away today. Everything was above. I can't go above my shoulder with my arm without it really, really hurting. And of course... My cabinets are all above my shoulders. And I had a bunch of dishes I needed to put away in the cabinets above me. So there's a lot of uncomfortable uh, inner swearing because, you know, the kids are in there. If I did swear out loud by accident, it was very uh, earned because, oh, it hurts. And I know lots of people have done that where they've uh, woken up from sleeping weird and cannot move their neck. Like I can move it a little bit, but i got to go very slow, be careful, and my shoulder goes with it. I am not, I'm not going to push my luck because I've had this before. Who, I mean, really at my age, who has not pulled a muscle in their neck or shoulder at least once. My mom tells me she never has, but she hasn't been active enough. That's what I told her. <laughs> it's not my fault you didn't do anything. So, I'm going to have to dig back into some of my fall colors. My browns, my oranges, my reds, my burgundies. Which I do have quite a bit of scraps, so... And I've got some of the thrifted yarns for this, which will be great. And I have a few more greens, which will be nice. 
because I have a little less of these yellows, but I have other yellows. My mom feels a little comfortable sometimes because her color choice is kind of off the beaten path. I did three there. And she feels like a lot of people to enjoy these colors very much together. And you know what? I have to disagree. Uh, from what I'm seeing, I'm finding that a lot of people really like these kind of colors. They're not necessarily what I would choose for myself, but I do like to look at them. I've had a lot of fun making this one. Oh, did I find the end already? That'd be super cool. Same time that tells me I didn't di uh, bury it enough, which is not good. No, this is the very beginning. So I think my end would be nearby, right? Right. Hello. Right, sorry. I think I weave, actually did weave it a lot better than I thought I had. There we go. It was not wanting to come out. It's out now. Okay. Save the day. Over here. Super close to getting my prize on Timu. I am super excited about it. I want that yarn pointer because this is my second attempt at winning it. Don't have it in my budget to buy one for myself right now. So what I want is it would be an excellent tool, especially to straighten up my yarn area. Okay, I thought that would have been the end. Guess not. So it seems like I'm taking everything apart backwards that side. Right. I know this is not the most exciting video. I am just kind of having a bit of a lazy day. I apologize. I'll be back shortly with some exciting yarn stuff going on. But I need a small rest. I am human. And sometimes doing this stuff as tedious as it is and not very glamorous, you kind of have to sometimes. Sometimes things don't work the way you want them to. And you, know, you gotta look at taking them apart. No, this end's not coming very soon. One of these ends has got to work, right? Ah, this one. Gotcha. So I found my end. I found where the end of this is. And so it's an older project. So I didn't do the ends as well as I do now. Because of course I have more practice. As the more I do, the better it gets. But this is one of my first wearable wearables, and it wasn't even for me, it was for somebody else. Unfortunately, it didn't fit right, so I'm going to adjust that. I 
I have lots of orange. I love. I have a lot of this multicolor one here. I just made my daughter's market bag in it. I've got the greens. I got all sorts of great fall colors. Most of them are red hearts, so that'll keep that in mind, and then I can do another load of trying to soften them to go with my daughter's one I other daughter's one I gave her for her birthday. The Picasso Granny Squares. It's lovely, but she says it's scratchy. So I need to soften it up, I guess. I did try the, oh, what is that called? Fabric softener. I guess that wasn't enough, so I need to wash it again. And I think I'm going to dry it with my spiky dryer balls. I have plastic spiky dryer balls that should beat it up enough to teach it a lesson, I guess. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna continue taking this apart. And I'll roll this up. I think that's all I'm going to be able to handle because this is really agonizing trying to hold this up. I'm sorry I can't hold it up to the camera. But I'm just ripping it apart. Good old frogging. Rivet, rivet. Oh, wow. Thanks for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box. Um, I should have a much better, be feeling better tomorrow. Less sore. And a more exciting video. So if you stuck around, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again real soon. Bye.